Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install OwnCloud on a mini PC using DietPy. For this tutorial, I'll be using the Minis Forum mini PC. You can find the link in the description box below. The advantage is that it's way more powerful than a Raspberry Pi. The downside is that it uses about the same storage capacity. Because of that, I'll show you how to add a hard drive for additional storage capacity and how to access your um, cloud from outside the network using your mobile device for example also you're going to need a usb flash drive to be able to install uh, diet pie now make sure you plug in the um, usb to the pc and is the properly detected by the computer then head over to um, dietpie.com download section and here scroll down until you find uh, native PC UEFI select it then download it'll redirect you to github.com and here are the instructions very simple so I'll download the uh, DietPy ISO from the link given here okay and it'll be downloaded to your downloads folder while download while downloading I'm gonna go ahead and download Rufus you can also click on the link it will take you directly there scroll down download Rufus okay now once done head over to your uh, downloads folder and follow the instructions Here is my ISO and my Rufus app. I'll go ahead and run Rufus. On the device, make sure that the USB is selected and then click on select to select the ISO you just downloaded. Under partition scheme, select GPT, target system, UEFI and then click on start to copy uh, the contents of the image onto the USB. Remember, all information from that USB will be replaced with the content of the ISO. Once done, properly eject that USB from the PC and plug it onto the mini PC. Make sure that the mini PC has keyboard, mouse, monitor, power, everything connected, including that USB. Then go ahead and boot and tap frequently on F7 in my case. So you can select the USB as the first boot, as shown. Here select the MMC BLK0 and then start installing DietPy onto that mini PC. The process can take quite some time, so get coffee or something and then come back. But the installation is simple. Okay, so now log in. I'm I'm remotely accessing my diet pie. I'm using putty. So uh, Username is root, then password is dietpy. Once you immediately log in, dietpy will auto update. And that can take also a, bit, a little bit of time. Okay, once done, it'll reboot. And you have successfully installed dietpy onto that mini PC. Okay, once you log in again, it'll prompt you with the um, DietPy software here. Now, using the arrow keys, select Software Optimized, hit Enter. Now we're going to install OwnCloud. Now, you, again, using the arrow keys all the way down 
until you see on cloud select it by pressing the space bar and then tab to select OK and then hit enter it will bring you back to the diet Pi software here again all the way down select install hit enter OK and it will start installing on cloud it's automated that's the advantage of using diet Pi instead of Raspbian once done it'll ask you to reboot hit OK once you hit OK on cloud will be installed now all you need to do is just enter on another computer in the network HTTP colon forward slash forward slash IP address of the uh, mini PC forward slash on cloud and you'll be prompted to log in the default username and password is admin diet pie now I'm going to show you how to use an external hard drive for additional storage capacity I'm also going to show you how to access your own cloud from outside the network not long ago I did a Raspberry Pi tutorial and it's exactly the same process you'll notice that the IP address will change that's because I used part of that tutorial for this one in case the password doesn't work I'll show you how to reset the password also if you're adding an external hard drive for additional storage capacity I don't recommend you log in just yet keep that in mind if you're planning on adding an external hard drive for additional storage capacity do not log in I'm also going to show you how to get the regular setup screen because this screen is kind of like for newbies the setup screen is completely different now let's start with the first let's go ahead just in case your password don't work you can always go back to the terminal and enter the following command bear with me here while I reconnect okay all the commands you can find it on my website again the link is in the description box below here enter the new password and then confirm once you have uh, reset the password you can come back and enter the new password now to get the regular setup screen we're gonna need that in case you're uh, uh, mounting uh, an external hard drive so to do that enter the following again you can find all these commands in my website we need to delete the config.php now go back to your own cloud instance refresh and this is the regular setup screen okay now let's continue on to mounting that external hard drive first we need to create a MySQL so enter the following MySQL uh, dash u root dash p diet pi hit enter now create a database I'm gonna name this own underscore cloud because you can create uh, an own cloud database because it's already created now here we're gonna grant uh, privilege on own underscore cloud to OC admin and then the password identified by one two three four five you can change that password to something other than one two three four five once done hit enter and exit awesome okay I have plugged in a portable 300 gigabyte uh, USB if you haven't already plugged in your external hard drive this would be a good time my hard drive I usually have them formatted NTFS all of my drives because that way if something ever goes wrong I can easily plug it on to a PC and have access to all my cloud information something else is that if you have an internal drive laying around there you can also use that I'll show you how now this is an internal drive I have laying around this is a 240 gigabyte SSD all I need is a serial ATA cable to USB this one here that's it and you can plug the hard drive to the serial ATA and then plug it onto the Raspberry Pi that simple done okay now let's make this mini PC 
read NTFS formatted hard drives and tell the following command. The reason why I make this mini PC read NTFS uh, formatted drives is because most of the hard drives you buy out there are already pre-formatted NTFS. If something ever happens to my mini PC, I can easily unplug that hard drive and plug into a PC and have access to all my files. Done. Now enter the following command. This command is to be able to see all connected hard drives to the mini PC. And as you can see, under device you see def sda1 pertaining to my uh, external hard drive, which is a 300 gigabyte NTFS. Awesome. Now let's create a directory so we can mount that drive to. In this case, I'll create a directory called own cloud drive. So sudo mkdir forward slash mnt forward slash own cloud drive, just like you see it there. And now let's mount that external hard drive to that directory. sudo mount dev sda1 to mnt on cloud drive. Now let's create a data user and add it to the data group. So enter the following. Let's add proper permissions to that group so they can read, write, execute. Done. Now we need the GID and the UID of the user data. So enter the following. That's the uh, GID and the UID. Now we need the uh, UUID of the external hard drive. So enter the following command. Here you'll find uh, the UUID pertaining to that SDA1 external hard drive. We need to write that down because we're going to modify the FS tab. Now we need to enter a code in the FS tab. So enter nano for slash etc FS tab. And here go all the way down and enter the following line. Okay, the UUID, obviously yours would be different than the one I have. So make sure that from that code that you copy to enter your UUID. And also the directory, if you use a different directory, mine says MNT on cloud drive. Now go ahead and save and exit, then reboot. Upon reboot, head over to the um, on cloud interface again. And here enter the following. So as admin, I left everything default. Password is dietpy. The data folder is the one we created for slash MNT for slash on cloud drive. Database user is OC underscore admin. Database password 12345. Database name is own underscore cloud. And then finish setup. Re-enter your username and password. Done. We have successfully logged into our own cloud and is currently writing onto our external hard drive. If I go to photos here, I have three images. Now to make sure that it's writing to the directory, enter the following command. sudo ls mnt on cloud drive. And here you'll find some on cloud uh, files. Now, if I want to make sure that it's writing uh, the images to the photos directory, just enter the following MNT on cloud drive, admin files, photo, those three images should be there. Yep. Okay, to access our on cloud instance using our mobile device or from outside of our network, we need to modify the config.php and we need to enter our WAN IP address. <clears throat> so we need to Google what is my IP. It should be prompted immediately. If not, you can go to one of those links and it'll, they'll give you your WAN IP address. Now with that information, remember to write it down and enter the following command. 
nano space for slash var dub 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 on cloud config config.php and hit enter now using your arrow keys go all the way down under the number zero enter one greater than and then the wan ip address you just got exactly like the one on top using the commas and everything now go down and where it says overwrite that cli that url replace that ip address with the wan ip address so we should look http colon forward slash forward slash one ip address on cloud save and exit now uh, log into your router and locate uh, port forwarding in my case is application and gaming in your case it might be something other than that so I'll name it I'll name it on cloud and then external port 80 internal port 80 use both protocols the IP address of the mini PC enabled and save now we can access our own cloud instance from outside our network or using our mobile device just enter HTTP colon forward slash forward slash WAN IP address forward slash on cloud and hit enter. Then enter your username and password. If you notice here, it says connection not secure. That's because I have not yet found a way to enable SSL for free using Diet Pi. But meanwhile, keep in mind that it's your connection and you're the only one connecting to it. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.